Hello everyone, welcome to Flash Frozen. This is a free survival horror game that is, I believe, a student project made at the University of Wisconsin Stout. I would confirm this information, but unfortunately, at the time of this recording, uh, my internet is actually down. Completely down. Yeah, there's an internet outage, and it really sucks, because it means I, well, there's virtually nothing I can do. One of the few things I can do is record this game because it's single player. But unfortunately, I can't confirm any of the information about it, as I did not prepare, so I'm pretty sure what I just said was true. But I can't confirm it. Anyway, all the information will be confirmed after the fact, of course, in the description. So check down below. Again, it is free. It is a student project, I believe. It is survival horror. And it looks very interesting. It is all about, at least from what little I've read, and I have read very little about it on purpose, so, so as not to spoil myself. But I believe that cold plays a very big part in the game, and I think it's even set on a ship. Which heavily reminds me of a game that I played recently that is practically unknown, called Cryostasis. And it reminds me of it in a good way, because there's something about that. About being in a cold environment, just fighting to stay warm. And even on a ship. Even if it wasn't on the ship. You know, but, but even on a ship makes it even more claustrophobic. And scary. So I'm really excited to play this. Okay, anyway, um, let, yeah, let's get going. Unfortunately, there appear to be no options for the game, as far as I can tell, at least no options inside of the game. And I couldn't find any sort of an I and I outside of it, so... Yeah, not sure what's up with that. I guess it was made quite quickly, and... I suppose when you make something quickly, you lose a lot of the little things, like options and stuff. I believe this game is made in Unity... I think it's made in Unity. I think it's Unity 4. But again, I can't confirm that information. Anyway, let's go. New game. Thankfully, it's running in 1080p. And here we go. I don't know who I am, I don't know exactly where I am, although I believe I'm on a ship. Yeah, it definitely looks like a ship. I really like the music in the beginning, by the way. It really sets the mood. So yeah, one of the weird things about there being no options, well, aside from that just being weird on its own, um, one of the weird things I created is that the default sensitivity inside of here was way too high to begin with. So I turned it down, but unfortunately, in turning it down, even though it makes my sensitivity right here normal, it makes my sensitivity in the menus really slow. It's like, I want to go restart from checkpoint. Uh, uh, there we go. It's way too slow, so yeah. The sensitivity is funky. And the fact that I can't change the options makes me feel uncomfortable. Am I freezing to death? What's going on? It makes me feel very uncomfortable, but it does appear to have anti-aliasing on, and everything looks like it's probably on high, and it is running in 1080p, so I think I'm fine. And it's running at 60 FPS, so yeah, I think I'm good. Okay. Oh wow, that's weird. I can't look down any more than this. I can't see where my feet should be. Although I'm sure I don't have any feet. As I am just a floating camera. But don't think of that. Don't think of that fact. It'll ruin the immersion. Well, it looks like the time is... You're about to die o'clock. What are these things? Can I crouch? No, I can't crouch. I can sprint, though. Yeah, at the moment, it looks like the only thing I can do is... Well, walk, jump, and sprint. Can't crouch, can't zoom in as far as I can tell. Yeah, I don't know what these are. A bunch of cards or something? All with the same picture on it. Weird. Oh, and if you're looking to get in the mood of the game, I recommend taking a cold shower and then watching this with, with your feet in bowls of ice water. Actually, don't do that. That's probably dangerous. Please do not follow my advice. 
I do not accept any legal responsibilities if you follow my advice. There's a cup. There's some trash. Okay, so this room looks like it's covered in a bunch of trash. Looks like things went wrong. Things look broken, and obviously everything is frozen. So yeah, that's bad. I honestly have no idea what to expect. I haven't even watched anything except, like, the teaser trailer. And that did not reveal very much, and I don't even remember the trailer. Like, I don't even know if this game has combat. I have no idea. God, it's so cold. Maintenance room, authorized personnel only. Well, I don't think anyone's going to stop me. Anything over there? Doesn't look like it. Couldn't even get over there if I wanted to, so I suppose it doesn't matter. Communication room, authorized personnel only. E to turn valve. Okay, so you can use stuff. Well, that's good. Okay, is that noise I just heard, is that me, or is that some sort of a demon spirit breathing down my neck? Because it sounds like a demon spirit breathing down my neck. I don't like that. Oh. Okay. I don't like that either. I'm gonna go to the light now. Oh. Okay, I have to hand it to them. Very good use of sounds. Damn, this is creepy. What? Why did didn't text just show up? Like, do they really expect me to do they really expect me to read the text? Well, that just happened. I was a little preoccupied. What did it say? I have no idea. God, I can barely even see. Oh, whoa, whoa, water. If you get wet in a cold environment like this, if you get wet, you're dead. You are freaking dead. You will freeze to death. Very quickly. Water causes you to lose body heat quickly. Find a way to stop it from flowing. Okay. What if I actually got wet? Could I kill myself? I, I'm not, I'm not going to try. Shift to sprint, build up speed, and break down... Oh, break down jam door. Whoa. The fuck was that noise? The hell was that? Okay. It seriously sounds like there's a demon breathing down my neck. Okay, let's try breaking down the door. Okay, that was pretty freaking awesome. You're cold, find a way to get warm. Okay, uh... I don't suppose these lights warm me up? Press E to ignite flammable objects, like... I don't even know what I just picked up. Alcohol? Maybe? That is a note. Can I start a fire in this trash? No. Uh, let's read this. Oh, that's the, uh... My mouse is so freaking slow. I go up to point to it and I have to move my mouse back like three times. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. This image is what I just saw back at the beginning. Okay, notice. As you are all aware, our ship has run aground on an unknown frozen land formation. The ice seems to go on for miles, and currently a team has been sent to investigate the surrounding area. While we await assistance, it is vital... That's some weird misspells here. It is vital... And then there's a random S there. It is vital that all crew keep a calm and collected attitude. 
Our passengers are scared and confused. We can prevent a panic with a crew that is able to project an air of confidence and control. Remember to follow standard emergency protocol and begin rationing out supplies to your assigned departments. Please consult with your superiors for further instructions and remember to keep calm. We must hold out until help arrives. We will make it through this. We will... Pr we will... Pre wait, we will preserve? Uh, we will preserve. Is, is that meant to be persevere? We will persevere? We will preserve. What does that mean? I, I'm pretty sure that's meant to be persevere. Like, we will can our vegetables and preserve them? We will preserve. Weird. Jonathan Dokes, captain of the SS Catherine. <laughs> Help arrives. Liar. Somebody wrote liar. Great. How long has it been? There's no date on this, and even if I had a date, I don't know the current date, so it wouldn't matter. Okay, I need to make a fire. Random things. Bag list. Can't even read those. They're too blurry. What is this? Can I take it? No, just a bunch of tools. There's another cup. Alright, is there anything I can set on fire here? I don't think so. Electrical room. Like, can I use... The stuff in my inventory? Can I open my inventory? No. Alright, well, wait. Wait a minute, what do I do? I just realized I don't have anywhere to go. Something tells me the text that I missed might have held the key. Maybe I need to go back and light something on fire now that I have the fuel? Hello? Is there anything to light on fire here? I don't think I'm supposed to go back. No, I can't even go back that far. Nope. Okay. Yeah, there isn't even a control menu. I mean, I mean there's nothing. Continue. Restart from checkpoint. Help. Wait. Help. Wait a minute. Never mind. Help. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. E to interact with objects. F to light or put away your lighter. Wait, do I have a lighter? Tab and F. Okay. Once lit, checkpoints will act as a heat source and autosave your progress. Oh, cool. Make sure to manage your body heat. Water will make you cold much faster. Stand in near fire at checkpoints to get warm. Okay, F and tab. Let's see if I have any of those things. Tab. I have two fuels. And I have a lighter. Okay. That's what I was missing. Uh, do I use up my lighter just by having it out? Oh, I see. <laughs> Wait a minute, I, c I can actually light that note on fire? Why would I want to do that? Whoa. I think I just scared off whatever was coming at me. Or whatever was hanging around my head, breathing down my neck. That's good. Apparently it doesn't like fire. Which actually, once again, in a good way, reminds me of cryostasis. Because the creatures in that game also did not like fire. They The enemies were cold. They were like the... Ah, what's the word? They were... Personification of cold? Is that the right word? Like they were cold made manifest? They actually... They actually took away your body heat when they attacked you? It's a very cool game mechanic. Okay, well, I'm warm. And now I can continue. Wait, did this door just open? or what? I feel like I'm not paying attention. Oh, I guess next level? Okay, there we go. Uh, did I just come from here? I don't understand. It looks like I fell down, but there's nothing above me. 
I would assume that I came through this door, but this door appears to be blocked by snow, which means I couldn't have just opened it. Uh, okay, anyway. Press tab to check your fuel. Hmm. Okay, so I'm assuming you can have your lighter out for as long as you want. But if you burn something, like if you start a fire that uses up a fuel, which I don't quite get, but okay. Well, I'm obviously not going under that. Cargo Bay, level 2A. That looks like it's about to break. Yeah. That's interesting. I can jump and it says if it's low gravity. Whee! Okay, that definitely looks like it's going to break. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to sprint and jump. Okay, I feel better. Jesus. Where's all that water going? What is that? Industrial s solvent. That is a fuel? Apparently that's a fuel. Looks like I can get down here, yeah. And that is water. Need to be careful. Alright, I'm getting really cold. Like, really, really cold. Alright, I've th got three fuels. What's this? Dear Diary, when I took this job, I really thought it would be the good life. Work a little, see the world, become one with the sea and all that. What I got instead is 60 hours a week for a salary. The pay is pathetic. The food and living conditions are worse. I can't remember the last time I had a vacation. And while I work my butt off every day, the guests are having the time of their life. Once, just once, I'd like to relax on the deck. Or try some of that fancy food at the restaurant. Hell, I'd even take a drink at Club Catherine's with that drunk of a captain of ours. He's the reason everyone on the ship is so miserable. It's a miracle that he can, that he can even stand in the morning, let alone direct a ship this size. One of these days, he's going to be the death of us. Interesting. Drunk of a captain of ours. You know, this... Actually, hold on. I'm freezing to death. So before I give my thoughts, I guess I better find somewhere to warm up before I die. Yeah. Wow, holy shit. Okay. Uh, oh god. I, like, I can't see anything. Is this... <laughs> okay, you have died. Um... Whoops. Where's my last checkpoint? Let's try that again, this time with less dying. Yes, I will give my thoughts when I'm at a place where I'm not dying. That sounds good to me. Let's grab this again. Read that, okay. Gotta be careful not to touch the water. Need to pick up objects. Wait, can I pick up this box? Yes, I can. Okay, oh, wait, can I... He, oh, here we go, here we go. Ah. Much, much better. Okay, what I was going to say is... Apparently their captain is a drunk, and it sounds like he may have been responsible for running them aground. Or, I don't, I, I don't know if this would be called ground, whatever. R you know, run into something. Responsible for crashing them into something. That actually, once again, reminds me of cryostasis. I wonder. I wonder if cryostasis was actually maybe one of the... big uh, influences behind this game. It'd be really funny if they haven't even played it. And yet made a game that's so similar in very many ways. I don't... I don't mean to say they copied it, like, I, I'm not that kind of a person. I don't think it just because a game is similar that, hey, you copied it, you know, lame. No, sorry, I think that's bullshit. 
but it definitely has a lot of similarities. It involves cold as a main mechanic. You are on a ship. And the captain was incompetent. All those three things are shared by cryostasis. Which I think is actually I think is actually very cool because I freaking love cryostasis. I mean at this point I'm thinking it'd be a hell of a coincidence if they just happened to make a game that was so similar. It's they've gotta they had to have played cryostasis. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Whatever just allowed me through. Or <laughs> maybe if it's that demon thing that's breathing down my neck, maybe I shouldn't thank it. Maybe it's trying to lure me into its den. Shipping bay. So wait. That solvent counts as a fuel. So I'm dumping an entire thing of industrial solvent and lighting it on fire? I know it's life and death and all, but that doesn't sound safe. Is solvent even flammable? Uh, oh. Actually, there's, I mean, solvent's such a generic thing to say anyway. I mean, there's so many different types of solvent. I found you. I... Well, this isn't... Good. Okay. Apparently I was supposed to run? I mean, it looked like I was inside of the ice. So I didn't even think I could run, but apparently I was supposed to. I found you. Run. Yep, I'm supposed to run. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. Seriously? Can light it? There we go. Ah. <sighs> Res data, check your fuel. I have one left. Alright, need to... <laughs> Apparently I'm incapable of using my hands to pull myself up here, so I need to make a box stack. Ooh, this looks interesting. Why does God hate me so much? What did I do to deserve this? I don't know what to do anymore. I stopped being religious years ago. Maybe everything that's happened is some kind of divine retribution. Why in God's name was that guy ever made a captain of a ship? We're all gonna die on this ship. Die because of that drunkard. Die because of a drunk idiot and because God just hates us. Okay, who the hell left these messages? And how long has it been? Hours? Days? Weeks? Years? Let's keep an eye out for any fuel. Whoa, okay. Don't see any. Oh, wait, there's some. Can I reach it? Yes, I can. Can't quite reach that one. Okay, I need more warmth pretty damn soon. I need to keep going. Turn that water off. Ah. Oh, next level. Ooh. Holy shit, did I just come out of that hatch? Am I crazy, or did that hatch not look nearly that big when I was going up it? Is this hatch bigger on the other side than it is 
from... Is it bigger on this side than it was from the other side? What? I'm confused. Now there's a more industrial solvent. Random boxes, some... <laughs> that's gotta be a joke. That Yeah, that's a joke. Oh, it's moisturizing sun lotion. Yeah, because I really need to protect myself from the sun as I freeze to death. <sighs> Actually, I'm freezing to death right now. Yeah, let me keep going. Dining. The heck is that? Piece of... A trash can designed in a modern art style? I, I don't know. Whoa! The fuck? Okay, I'm gonna keep going. This doesn't look good. Okay, I guess we have another running sequence. Time to go! Um... Okay. I guess I will restart from checkpoint. I like, and I'm being sarcastic when I say, I like that there's these running sequences where you have to run, and you die in like five seconds, and then you have to do it again. It's, uh, it's really good for the mood. Not. Okay, did I miss something, or do I just need to run faster? Okay, I am missing something. Because I was going as fast as possible. What am I missing? I don't really have time to think. I really don't have any time to think at all. Maybe I just need to not sprint on the way up here so that I have more sprint left to run? Let me try that. Okay, sprinting, sprinting, sprinting. Uh, okay, it looks like I almost made it. Like, do I really just have to keep doing it again and, ag and again? Really? I mean, what are those boxes? Like, there's boxes up there. What are, what are they? Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab them. I'm gonna die, but what the hell is this? Oh, that's not a box. Those are, what, the f what is that? Some piece of art stuff. Okay, anyway, yeah, I, I literally can't do anything but run, so... Okay, I guess I know what I have to do. I just need to run better. And we're off. Okay, doing much better. Yep, there we go. So, how high did it come up? Oh, uh, okay. Well, I don't really need do this. Uh, well, I've got I've got three. Yeah, I'll use one up. Whatever. Well, I definitely have some thoughts about the design of this game so far, but I guess I'll wait till the end to give them. Because I'm guessing this probably is not very long. So yeah, I'll give my thoughts at the end. I don't want to like ruin the flow of the game by talking for 20 minutes in the middle of it. Not that the game has all that much flow to begin with, which is kind of the problem. Or rather, because of the water, it has too much flow, if you get my drift. Oh my god, how did I just... Wow, okay. Stop making puns. No more puns. Yep, 
yes, that that's a wonderful painting. It's very it's very warming. <laughs> you know, this painting reminds me of that time that I froze to death. And oh wait, shit. Two o six. Please do not disturb. <laughs> Who cares? Never mind. I can't open it. Hmm. Not going in there. Okay. Um, someone either really likes candles, or maybe there's some sort of a demon sacrifice in here. Also, I'd just like to point out that this is an extreme fire hazard. I know. You're worried about freezing to death, so you're probably not too much worried about a fire hazard. But seriously, this is a huge fire hazard. You have piles of candles on a rug. Uh, on carpet. Right next to a bed. A wood bed. That's disturbing. Alright, let's read this stuff. It's been four days since the ship was aground, or ran aground. A real sense of despair has crept over the crew, and the captain has locked himself in his hole with his booze and left everyone to rot. One of the, engi one of the engineers is doing his best to hold everything together. But it's not helping that the captain keeps managing to crawl out of his bottle long enough to act like he's still in charge. Alright, so apparently the captain is incapable of doing any legitimate captaining, any competent captaining, but he's still there enough that he's messing up other people's attempts to actually take over for him. That's not good. Looks like there's a Hawaiian shirt under the bed. A ring. It's interesting. I just realized there's something very strange about the scale of this bottle. This is like the biggest bottle I've ever seen in my life. This is, this is like a one gallon bottle. Holy shit. It's huge. more clothes strewn about. Can't open that. Actually, I can put my face inside of the door. It's interesting. Oh, did I just pick this up? Oh, I can pick up the TV. Well, I know what I'm doing with it. Goodbye, TV. Yeah, I really wish there was something to indicate what you could interact with. Because at the moment, there isn't. Like, this note I can interact with, but there's no indication that I can. And everything else I can't interact with, and there's no indication that I can't. Well, at least this image doesn't evoke memories of freezing to death. That's good. Nice and green. Yet another TV. All right. Well, you know where I'm going to put all the TVs. Yep. In the water. Holy shit. Uh, someone was having fun. Looks like... Are those beer bottles? I can't crouch. It's hard to tell. Looks like they were probably drinking and definitely smoking a lot of cigars and playing a shit ton of poker or a card game of some sort. Alright. I'd also like to point out that the scale of this note is very bizarre. This is about the biggest letter I've ever seen. It's certainly no 8.5 by 11 sheet, that's for sure. More like 20 by 25 or something. Dear Diary, this damn ship is haunted or something. I hear weird, creaking sounds in the night, and sometimes I feel like the walls are moving. Some of the people on the ship have started vanishing, too. I keep telling everyone that something's wrong, but no one listens to me. I talked to Ben yesterday. He seemed pretty freaked out about it, too. Problem is, I haven't seen him since. No one really knows where he is. The really sad part, though? 
No one really cares. Everyone's too busy worrying about finding ways to stay warm. Okay. So the ship ran aground. And people were holed out trying to uh, stay warm, obviously. Trying to stay alive while they were waiting for help. And all the while, people were being picked off, it sound, sounds like. Hell, maybe I'm Ben. I'm surprised there's still all these clothes left. I figured they would have burned them for heat. I mean, not all of them. Obviously, you'd want to wear some of the clothes to stay warm. But you can only wear so many shirts. Suntan lotion? A freaking massive toilet that it looks like I could be flushed down. And some sunglasses. Hmm. That's, um... That's interesting. This is supposed to be a light, but it appears everything except the light is lit up. Ugh. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> what was that? I... Wait a minute, am I... Am I supposed to break this down? Is that the sound for breaking down the door playing? But it plays regardless of whether you're of whether or not you're actually breaking it down? Is that what that is? Let me find out. Am I supposed to break this down? Wait a minute. It is. So Did they did they seriously just put in a did they just put in a trigger here so that when you're at a certain place in front of the door it and you touch it, it triggers that sound? Is that what they did? So just by being in front of the door, it triggers the sound regardless of whether or not you're actually breaking it down? What the hell? That is weird. That is not a good way to do it. I I believe, again, I can't confirm this because my internet's down, so I didn't have a chance to confirm anything. But I'm pretty sure that this was made in a very short amount of time. And they wish they could have polished it, polished it more. It definitely shows... Um, anyway, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, this was definitely made in a short amount of time. And they wished... I think they wished they could have polished it more, if I remember correctly. From what I read about it. And it definitely shows. You know, I, I can forgive a lot. I get it. It's made in a short amount of time, you know. The first thing that goes when you have a short amount of time is polish. Right? You get the big ideas in. You get everything kind of working, but... You just don't have time to polish it. That is a really weird way to trigger it, though. I mean, it's very... It's a very... Dumb way. I don't mean the person that made that trigger is dumb. I just mean it's a... It's just not a very intelligent script. Or trigger. It's just like, why would you trigger it with just by proximity and not something else? I... I, I don't know. Main water shut off. Okay. Cool. Now, it should allow me to go into that one room. Did I go in here? Yes, I did. Okay. I probably shouldn't be sprinting if I don't need to. Just in case. Alright, this room I could not go into before. Yep, here we go. Oh, it looks like I can jump up, too. 207. Welp, you know what I'm doing with this TV. And since there's no water kaplunk sound effect, I have to make my own. Wait for it. Kaplunk? Yeah. Yeah, the gravity in this game is really bizarre. I mean, it already feels like low gravity when I jump. I, okay, I don't know what the hell's going on down there. Let me look somewhere else. That's already bizarre enough. But add in that when you drop items, they, they act just as weirdly. Well, it's weird. Uh. 
Oh, there we go. I was hitting my head. If I remember correctly, I think they mentioned that one of the big things that they wish they could have added more of is sound effects. And I definitely see that. There's very little sounds, unfortunately. It really, it could be, it could be enhanced so much just by some, you know, some ambient sounds like, I don't know, creaking and the sound of the water lapping around and obviously other things like jumping sounds, footsteps. If I remember correctly, I don't think they actually had any sound designers on their team. Or anyone that really had any particular skill in making sounds. So it's easy to see why that thing would not be able to be added because of a lack of anyone that could actually do it very well, and also because of lack of time. My god, what is with the scale of things? Those are the biggest pencils I've ever seen. Look at them. I can't read it. Can I see anything out there? What the fuck? Uh, okay, I wish I didn't look. Conference room A2. Conference room A1. It's tonight. No funny business, no sudden changes. We've all suffered through the drunkard's crap long enough. Remember, Jim and the other engineers are going to bring him and the mates to the bar. You all know what to do. Remember, no foul-ups. Okay. So yeah, it looks like they were taking over the ship. Which sounds like it was for the better because they sounded incompetent. An incompetent drunkard captain. That probably got them into this mess in the first place. What the f... What? <clears throat> Didn't happen. Didn't see that. Nope. Can't open it. Can't open it. Can't open Can't open it. And can't open it. Yeah, some feedback would definitely be nice, like this door is locked or the sound of a knob jiggling or something. And let me guess, I have to run. Okay. And now I'm nice and warm. Ah. Club Catherine. Yeah, there's definitely a lot I want to talk about in this game, but I don't want to ruin what... <laughs> I feel bad saying this, but I don't want to ruin what little flow it has already by just stopping in the middle, so I'm going to wait till the end. Oh, wow, this looks a lot more welcoming than where I was at before. This looks downright colorful and warm. Although it's obviously not warm. Whoops. Does that actually light up stuff around me? It does, yeah. A little bit. For some reason, it's lighting up these cards. Or these bits of reading, uh, pamphlets, but it's not lighting up the table. I don't understand. Hmm. Okay, don't walk into the table because you will jiggle up and down. Arcade! Can I play a game within a game? Helium Havoc. Blasto Time? Blasto Time? What the f- What is that? Space Cadets. Nope. Wizard Ball? 
Helium Havoc. Cavern Quest. It's a quest in a cavern. Project Monster. Blasto Time and Project Monster. That's pretty cool. Wait, can I light that one too? I can. There's no reason to, though. Or is there? Actually, there might be. How much? Uh, I've got three fuels. Alright, I'm gonna do it. It's really weird. Everything seems too big in the environment, but my hand looks like a little twig. Holy crap. This is really big. Hold on, let's see if there's anything back here. The heck is that? Interesting. Any fuel I can use? Nope. Can you die from falling? We're about to find out. Or maybe we're not, because I can't... Wait, is this... Oh, wait, this is glass. There's glass here. I didn't even see it. It's so... You, you can't even really see it. Oh, come on. Get... Stuck on the freaking tables. Yeah, the glass is practically invisible. Okay, there's a note covered in blood. That's not a good sign. The captain's dead. The whole peaceful mutiny hit the fan after the captain threw a punch at the damn engineer. Seems like he was holding together about as well as the rest of us. We just started slamming the captain's head into the bar. Didn't take much, captain being drunk as usual. We managed to knock him out, but far too late to do any good. We dumped him in the lower part of the ship. The cold will take care of him, and all of us soon, if we're not careful. Oh, I can't play any of the instruments. Wait a minute, am I going to get stuck if I go in there? I might. Okay, once again, need to do some platforming. Well, nothing to do but get to it. It's amazing how this water... Oh shit, I'm getting really cold. It's amazing how this water really barely restricts your view at all. Like, just like the glass is practically invisible, this water is practically invisible. Alright, I need some warmth. Ah, a timed thing. Whoa, oh. Okay? Uh, I don't see the connection between this valve and about a million gallons of water suddenly being drained, but okay. I will accept that. Gonna freeze here pretty soon. Actually, here we go. Let's take care of that. Ah. There's never enough warm clothes to go around. Food is running low. Many have begun to resort to desperate measures. People are disappearing. I almost wish the talk of living ice wasn't so insane. It would be nice to think I wouldn't have to worry about falling asleep where anyone can find me. Wait a minute, how do I get down? Can I just fall? Well, I mean, <laughs> where else am I going to go? Alright, out we go. Uh, this doesn't look safe. I'm just going to say this doesn't look safe. Okay, I'm fine. Hmm, where am I going to go? That looks like glass, that looks like glass. Let's just keep going this way. Why? Should I even question why water is coming down in huge sheets at regular intervals? 
some sort of timed thing. Well, I mean, what? Whatever. Can I break this? It's kind of broken. Partially broken. Uh, apparently, I can't. Can I make this? Uh, ah. Okay. Where am I going? Can I use a box to break it? Can I even take any of these boxes? Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Okay, there we go. Like, that doesn't even make any sense. Why is water suddenly just coming down like crazy and then suddenly stopping? That... what? Well, I'm not gonna run out of fuel anytime soon, that's for sure. Alright, let's do a checkpoint, because it looks like I might die here. This is really, really silly. Like, if you're going to make the environment a major part of the game, we have to respond to it, and it, it ties into the main gameplay mechanic of, of getting cold and trying to stay warm and all of that, it's best to stick to believable things. And this is far from believable. This is, like, cartoonish. Shit, shit, shit. I think... I think I saw it. I think I saw an entire wall of ice just move. Move like it was alive. Ice can't be alive, can it? But I swear, I saw it. No one believes me, but I'm friggin' convinced that this ship is haunted. It's haunted and it's just another sign from Mother Nature that we're all supposed to die. A lot of people are gone now. People say that they see... Uh, people say that they escaped off the ship in the dead of night, but I think it's the ice that got him. The ice is alive. The ice is alive. The ice is alive, the ice is alive, the ice is alive, and the ice is alive. Okay, yeah. Um, they were having a bad time. Okay. I turned another valve in a random part of the game, and now a million more gallons of water just dumped out somewhere. And my FPS tanked to about 15. Because why not? To get warm again? Wonderful. Nice and warm. Catherine's Cuisine. Is that ice or water? That's water. And those are frozen melons. Yeah, it seems like basically none of the doors work. All right, where am I going? Let's go into... What does that say? Catherine's Cone. Wonderful. You can get ice cream. Just what I need. I'm so overheated at this point, aren't I? Uh, wait a minute. Wait, so... Instead of going through these timed things, why don't I just do this? Okay.
All right, I'm getting pretty freaking cold at this point. I need to warm myself up. Ooh, lollipops. Here we go. Let's get nice and warm. Daily shipboard activities. Movie theater, Catherine's collectibles, and ballroom buffet. Wait, this... Oh, this is the same message. That I just read. Apparently, he wrote his crazy message and then put it into the photocopier. And... Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I wish I could zoom in, because the text that it has on it doesn't even look like it's the same thing as what pops up here. What does that say? Entry number 26. I can't crouch. I heard some of the guys talking about the ice like it's alive. Hmm. Weird. It's different from the message, but related to the same subject. The 3D view versus the 2D image view, okay? It's bizarre. I think I just got hit by the water. But, oh well, I appear to be fine. Okay, is that it? Can I go out the front door now? Let's warm up. Okay, we're good. Oh, shit. Uh, wait, is that the only way I can go? It is. Okay. Apparently, I have very strong feet. Femurs of steel. Whoa, what the hell is happening to my view? What the hell was that? My view just shook around like I was having a seizure. What does it say? Catherine's Collectibles. To anyone reading this, we, the remaining survivors of the SS Catherine, have called a truce and are getting the hell off this damn ship. We have left to try and find help with whatever supplies we can take with us. We have left flags behind so others can follow. Be warned, if you remain with the ship. We threw the engineer that killed the captain into the deepest parts of the ship. Wait, did I say warned or warmed? Be... I think it's warned. It's kind of hard to tell. Into the deepest parts of the ship. Good luck. Okay, um, goodbye. Well, I guess I will follow the flags. Why is it so slow to look up? Look at this. For some reason, I can move my view horizontally very quickly. However, if I try and move it vertically... Super fast. Super slow. I don't understand. That feels horrible. Feels like my view is stuck, like glued to the center of the screen, or to being directly parallel with the ground. Alright, well, I'm getting cold, so I need to follow the flags. Let's go. Is there a trash can around here? Don't see one. Let's just keep going. It's very, um, white. Oh, shit, there's... Looks like there's a fire over there. Oh, so you get, you get the credits before the game actually ends? Interesting. Well, there's all the... Oh, and wait, what? You don't get to keep... Okay. 
Um, apparently that's the end of the game. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, let me talk briefly, well, actually probably won't be brief, we'll see, about the game. Okay. Oh wow, that was a nice pop. That was my arm. <sighs> okay. I really like what they tried to do. I mean, you can't complain too much about this game, okay? It's, it's a student project, it was made in a limited amount of time, and it's free. And I really like what they tried to do. Just, I, I really like games that are um, atmospheric and about... Really about just being in the environment and... Uh, just, you know, very atmospheric with the environment. And there's something about survival that I like. You know, being constantly under threat of freezing to death. Constantly trying to find, war trying to find warmth. I really like that idea. I think it pairs really well with survival horror. And it really adds to the atmosphere of the game. So I like what they tried to do, and it reminded me very heavily of Cryostasis, because again, Cryostasis is all about cold. And it's set on a ship, and the captain was incompetent. Or at least thought to be incompetent by much of the crew. So it reminded me a lot of Cryostasis in a good way, because I really like that game. However, unfortunately, I don't think it was very good. I kind of feel, again, I kind of feel bad saying that because it was, it was made in a short time, it's a student project, and it's free, but... I'm not hating on the game, I'm just... I'm just criticizing it because I, I appreciate what they tried to do. And, well, the only way you're going to get better is by realizing what went wrong. So... Just in case it's not clear, that's why I criticize things. I'm not hating, I'm... Well, trying to improve it. I, w I want to see... I like what they've done, and I want to see them do better. Which is why I will, well, go over some of the problems. Okay. I'm not sure how much time I should spend uh, talking about the lack of polish, because I know it was made in a very short amount of time, and so you, they didn't really have time to polish stuff. But the lack of polish really shows on everything. I mean, there's, there's no options, at least no options in the game. There might be some I&I &I file hidden somewhere, I don't know. But there's no options within the game. That really sucks. And everything just was not polished. Like, the character controller wasn't very good. You jump up and it feels like low gravity, and it kind of wigs out on a bunch of different objects. The gravity of throwing objects, again, or dropping objects, I guess you couldn't really throw, also felt weird and low gravity. There were tons of visual glitches everywhere. Uh, there was very little audio, unfortunately, because audio was very, very important. And it's actually one of the reasons I loved Cryostasis so much, is because... One of the things Cryostasis gets right is the audio. It, it did such a great job at putting you into the environment. By having all of these great environmental sounds. You could hear, like, constantly you were hearing the creak of the ship. You know, like the ship's alive, creaking and groaning. You could hear wind blowing at windows, or through open cracks. You could hear everything just like, crinkling with ice. Just, everything, it felt alive, and yet dead at the same time. In such a brilliant way, like they did such a great job with that. So that's what I was hoping to find in this game, but unfortunately it just wasn't there. And it sounds like they just didn't have enough time, and they, I guess, didn't, I, I think they didn't have the right people to do audio. Like, I think they had either no or very little experience in audio. So I can see why that would be. But yeah, that's another thing that unfortunately would have added a lot to the game. It just wasn't there because of a lack of a lack of time and a lack of polish. Uh, I don't know, a bunch of other weird polish things. Like the fact that the view was super easy to... Super fast to move horiz horizontally but not vertically. That's just weird. The fact that the credits showed up for like five seconds and then suddenly disappeared while you were still able to control your character it was weird and then the game just abruptly ended and went to the menu which was weird so yeah there's definitely a lack of polish and that took away a lot from the game however the biggest problem I have with it 
is just the core... I guess the core, like, gameplay of it. The fact is, most of what you do is just collect random bits of flammable stuff, run up to a trash can, light it on fire, and you instantly get warm. And then run to the next can of flammable or trash can to light another fire. And along the way, the only thing you really do is... It's just really boring, like, video game tropes, basically. Everything you do in between those trash cans to warm yourself was just... Just not very good, frankly. Like, what did you do? A couple times I had to run. Which was really silly. Like, some evil thing's breathing down my neck. And I suddenly have to run, and... And I don't know what the hell's going on to begin with, so it's like an instant die. Like, within two seconds, you're dead. It's like an instant fail state. And then you come back, and you just do it again. The problem is, when it comes to horror, repetition totally kills the mood. As soon as you have to repeat something, it stops becoming about being into the story about... It stops becoming about being into the environment and trying to immerse yourself, and it starts becoming about beating it. Right? You, can't, you remove yourself from the game, and suddenly you're thinking, okay, how do I beat this section to get to the next? It totally kills it. Like, everything just falls flat after that. And that kept happening. Like, outrun the water! And you have to run just right, or you have to do it again and again until you do finally run just right. Like, the first time, it was kind of a little bit distressing. The second time, it was just a purely mechanical thing that I was trying to beat. Because it was just silly. It was repetitive, and it was ridiculous. I mean, suddenly rising water. That's a silly video game trope. I mean, come on. Suddenly rising water. Okay, so what's some of the other things you had to do in between finding these bits of trash cans to light fires? You had to run up to random valves that did random things, like run into a valve in a corner, all the while going through these pipes that randomly drip massive amounts of water, and then suddenly stop dropping massive amounts of water. So there's like a timed, you know... I don't know if there's a name for them, but like a timed thing where... You have to, well, time yourself to get through it, right? Or you die. Or you take damage. I don't know if I actually would have died if I touched the water. I probably would have just taken damage or cold, as it is in this game. So you're running through these ridiculous, nonsensical, total mood immersion killing, water timed things to get to a valve in a corner that, for some inexplicable reason, unexplainable reason, just suddenly causes like 50,000 gallons of water to drain out of a room. Like, what? That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense at all. And then to make it worse, you have to do it three times. Do some platforming, go through these ridiculous water wave things, timed, get some random valve, and it drops a bit more. Like, why are there valves on the ship in random corners that cause the main bay, or whatever, the main room, to drain, but only a certain percentage? That doesn't make any sense. It's ridiculous. This is another video game trope. You know, you have water and you have to turn valves to dump the water out. So, just the core stuff, the core interaction in the game is just not really interesting. It's just silly stuff. It's running from stuff in a ridiculous, poorly designed way. It's platforming across blocks of ice. It's turning random valves that do random stuff for no particular reason. It's avoiding water that's coming down in sheets, in timed intervals. It, it's just silly. Like, it totally kills the mood. I can't become immersed in this world at all when you're doing such ridiculous things. So despite all the lack of polish, my core problem is just that. Is all of this mood immersion killing stuff. It just doesn't work. But again... I appreciate what they've done. I like the idea of what they were doing. I just don't like the execution. But I really hope um, they keep trying and improve themselves as, as everyone does. The more you make, the more you improve. And I look forward to seeing what they do. So yeah, I want to end on a positive note. Definitely want to end on a positive note. I think it's very cool what they've done. 
All right, well, I hope everyone enjoyed my playthrough and, I guess, sort of criticism. I, I guess it's dual playthrough and criticism at the same time of Flash Frozen. <laughs>